Thank you for today and finding the spot. I love it. Well, you've helped me through a rough time. And you didn't think I was a nut when I told you what happened to me. You were so sincere about what happened to you that day. It would have been hard not to believe you. Now promise me we'll visit here at least once a month. I promise. You know, I've been meaning to ask you something for a while now. Oh, really? It's just that, do you, at any point, want to... That day, it plagued my dreams now more than ever. It was the last memory I had before it happened. I woke up the next day, and escaped from the disaster, never to have seen what happened. And since then, I have lived alone. Why? If there was any way I could save the world, I'd do it. And you could. If you truly wish for this world to be restored to civilization, then it most certainly can be done. What? I plan to restore this world, but for that to happen, I need your assistance. Wait! Who are you? This time last year, the day of disaster struck, causing all but a few things to live. All this devastation was triggered by the actions of a single person. If you were to go back in time and eliminate that person, then the day of disaster would cease to occur. But I can't. I've never Perhaps you should take a look at the one responsible for this catastrophe. My head. Who is he? His name is Light. I tried to stop him before the world became like this, but I was not good enough. However, with an ally. I don't know if I can do that. If we worked together, you could find out how you survive. This is ridiculous. I don't even know your name. How do you time travel? What did this other guy do to destroy the world? My name is Naza. Naza the Sincere. I am not human, and neither is Light. He probably survived the destruction and is out there in the wasteland, but there'd be no use in killing him here. And I can't harm him, so that's why I need you. And this guy, he is evil. You swear on it. I shall take us back in time for a few moments before light triggered the end of the world. This is the place where light triggered the end of the world. I trust you know what to do. Wait! You're just going to leave? from now. You're here. You're the one I saw. Do you have any idea what you're about to do? What are you talking about? Get off me. Look, I need to urgently contact. Is this some kind of a joke? How do you cause the end of the world a few moments from now? End of the world. 
wait. Kill him. Kill him now and get your life back. You. Peter. I know you don't understand, but you have to believe me. He wants me dead for his own reasons. He can't do it himself, so he got you, a human, to do his dirty work. He's lying, Peter. Do it, Peter. Do it now so Amy can live. So, where are you taking me? It's just a small place I found. It's quite out of the way, so it'll be quiet. You could save her. Do you want me to show you how you survived the end of the world? He needed you to live in those conditions, with nothing left to lose. That way you would be more inclined to do anything he asked of, with the promise of restoring the world. Don't start a war you can't finish. <laughs> This planet means nothing to me, and neither does any of this. Have fun, Light. You've only got a few more minutes left until collision. No! Damn, we can be anyone in the universe by now. Still gotta deal with this. So you're from the future whereby the world was destroyed, right? Yeah. Now, that means my initial attempt to prevent the meteor from hitting the Earth has failed. But due to your mere existence in this timeline, time has already been rewritten. Ironic. Nazo has helped me by giving me you. Me? Well, what can I do? I sense something about you. You time traveled before, haven't you? What of it? Because you attract the same energy needed to travel through time. Well, that's probably why he chose you to kill me. And if you can travel through time. Unscathed. Wait, you can travel from time unscathed, which means you can probably do a lot more. Right, just come and meet. We've got to find an open area. I was visiting here when the meteor picked up on my navigator. I tried to contact nearby vessels, but nobody answered. It's just you and me on this. What about the government? Aren't they doing anything? Hey, wait. Just use that thing to launch a nuclear weapon. Chances are it's spotted too late. Nukes could have worked, but at the range of the nuclear blast, it would have sent radioactive debris into the planet. Well, what are you going to do? We're going to stop it using this. Put your hand closer to mine. What? I'll just get over it. Don't worry, it won't hurt. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I lied. Okay, we only have one chance at this. On my count, we go. News just in. The government has announced that the UK is in critical danger. This has been confirmed that an asteroid will hit the UK in a matter of minutes. All citizens are advised to evacuate. So on the Three, two, one, go!
appears the disaster has been avoided. Numerous eyewitnesses have reported that some kind of supernatural phenomenon merely wrapped itself around the asteroid and has taken it out of the Earth's orbit. We're all safe. Don't worry, you'll be all right. Since the events that led to the end of the world have been avoided, all other repercussions, such as your suffering, would have never have occurred. Meaning, we would never have met. That's correct. Thank you, Peter. And goodbye. I hope we meet again in better circumstances. I promise. You know, I've been meaning to ask you something for a while now. No, really? It's just that, well, do you at any point want to? Yes. Um... Peter? Who is that? I don't know. No, no. Uh, I meant... Would you like to... Perhaps... 